Only thing you need to know is that there's this family from Queens and they're running shit. What family? It's Monet and Lorenzo. They're the parents and the plugs. Drew, Kane, and Diana. Kane is the nigga you need to worry about. He's the shooter. Lorenzo's the king. Monet's the queen. Kane is the rook. Drew is the knight. Diana is the bishop. When one of them come in here asking about me, you knock over the right piece. Now, if it's an emergency, you knock over every piece on the board, all right? You think Kane is the problem? The damage is done. You can't outgun him now. 12 gonna be on you. I love smart them like I always do. You're so focused on going to war with Kane that you don't see the whole board. Then the game's your only op. Who else helped him pull us off? It's time for Monet to go. I mean, do you really think you could ever be free while she's still alive? Kane is a shooter, but he ain't much of a thinker. Who controls the moves? So I got bullets for. You know, matter of fact, I got bullets for the whole Tahada family when I get out. Anybody could have crossed you. You know, sometimes it's the ones you love the most. Ah! Uh, Diana, did you see who did this? It was Tariq. Tariq? <sighs> he thinks Monet sent Tommy after his mom. He's looking for payback. No. Tariq kills Monet. Kane kills Tariq. This is a gift for Monet to hide. We stick to our story. I don't know. It was Tariq. You tried to kill our mother. The are they talking about? Tell them what happened. You almost killed me too. What did you do? I told Noma that you were threatening her daughter. We're working together and I have a future with her, so couldn't let that happen. I think we just started with I get it. Gotta be one move ahead. Nah, son, you gotta be three moves ahead. Checkmate. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, Tariq versus the Tejada family. It is time, y'all. It is time. All the back and forth, all the talk, it is over. In Season 4, we're going to see Tariq at his A game. Well, at least he's going to need to be on his A game because he's going to be going up against the Tejada family, and we're talking about all of them. They all want that smoke, but your boy Tariq, he got Brayden on his side. Hell, for real, he got Obi on his side, and to be honest, he needs to call Uncle Tommy again. Call him again, Tariq. Tell him you need him for one last showdown. Because these guys, they're definitely about to put that pressure on you know, Tariq and Brayden in Season 4. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, you guys, make sure you check out my last video. I dropped the Power Book 2 Go Season 4. What's on that USB flash drive that Asia Young got from your boy Cooper Sacks? I want you guys to watch that video. Let me know exactly what you think is on that drive, and what may happen next for Agent Young in Season 4. And also check out the Power Book 2 Go Season 4 early predictions video that I dropped a couple days ago. Of course, we went over some of the main characters of the show and what they may be going through next season. As I told you guys, we're going to go more in depth on these characters very, very soon. So stay tuned for those videos. But man, let's talk about the topic of discussion, Tariq versus the Tejada family. And man, he needs that advice from Kanan because we know Kanan, he popped up in season two. He was in Tariq's head telling him what he needed to do because we know Tariq, he wanted to just take Kane out just like that. But once Kanan starts talking to him, once he starts to think about everything about, you know, Kane's character, Kane would never do certain things. He always got a battery in his back. Somebody's always pushing him to do what he needs to do. So he starts to realize like, man, okay, so maybe... Monet was the one that put Kane up to this. You know what I'm saying? So I believe Tariq will be taking some of that, you know, advice that he received mentally, you know, in his head from Kanan and use that in season four. To be honest, Tariq, he already broke down the whole Tahida family back in season one. He talked to Brayden about this. He broke them down. King, Queen, Rook, Pawn, Bishop, all that. He broke everything down, right? So he knows exactly 
you know, what they're going to be all about. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing exactly what he was talking about. We already know your boy Kane. He's very predictable. He's the shooter. He's the guy that you got to pretty much be watching. And you know he's going to react to the slightest things, right? And to be honest, we know Tariq could have been took out Kane a long time ago, but he didn't due to the respect that he had for Monet. But we know Monet told him if Kane was to ever come at you, you pretty much got to do what you got to do to protect yourself. So she pretty much gave him the word as far as doing what he had to do, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, Kane be moving very reckless. And at that time, we know Monet and Kane did not have the best relationship. And this is the streets. Anything could happen, right? Now, as far as Kane being predictable, we know Drew and Diana, they have made major impacts on this whole storyline and it seems like in season four they're going to be the main problem because they're sneaky they're lying you know to the family about what really happened and that's a major issue we got drew he's a loose cannon now he ain't in the right state of mind ever since he lost his pops in losing gordo not being able to be you know a housewife to ev i mean this dude is all over the place and now he's taking all his frustrations out on Tariq. So I say, Drew, you got to go. No, I'm saying he, he has to go. Drop him straight off. We don't even want to smoke on the Drew pack. Just burn him up, get him up out of here. And Diana, the way that she's moving off of these lies, we can tell that she really didn't want to do Tariq and Dirty, but Drew was all in her head telling her like, no, Tariq got to go too. We take out Tariq. Kane can take him out. And then, of course, Tariq takes out Monet. We good. So this dude, Drew, was really on one, and I believe him and Diana, which we call him Drewanna, they have become a major problem, y'all. Not just to everybody else, but to themselves, and I believe that will be their weakness. I believe Tariq is going to use the strengths that they have against themselves. I believe you're going to see that in season four. Tariq just has to prove that he had nothing to do with Monet, you know, being set up, which we know it was all Diana's little game plan. If he can prove that Diana set this up without actually having to get his hands dirty, that's going to be a smart play. But he's also going to need Brayden's help. He's going to need all the resources that he can get his hands on in order to make this happen. All he has to do is prove that Drew and Diana is behind all of this, right? And if he's able to do that, he can cause a huge, you know, ripple effect within the family. And it can really be the true downfall of the Tejada family. As I told you guys, I believe the Tejadas, they're going to end up taking their own selves out. Because it's too many lies and secrets between all of them. Everybody's lying about something. We continue to see this each and every season. And it's been yielding deadly consequences. The Freaky Zeke up out of here. Lorenzo up out of here. And now, seeing how Drew, Diana, Kane, and Monet, they're left. Who's next? You know what I'm saying? Who is next? And I know Tariq did agree with Dirty Diana as far as setting up Monet. That's because he thought Monet set up Tasha. He didn't know. He didn't know it was Diana that was the one that did all of this. So once he figures that out, he is going to take this a tad bit more personal in my opinion. And he's really going to want to prove that she was the one that was behind this, her and Drew. And that's all he really has to do. Monet, I believe she's not going to care what Tariq did. She's going to be more upset that Diana and Drew tried to take her out. She's going to want to get revenge on her kids, y'all. I'm expecting the Tejada family to be on one. And that's their biggest flaw. All these secrets and lies is going to be exposed in season four. And I cannot wait to see it i mean to be honest with you guys Tariq and his resources like davis mclean rashad tate rsj hell maybe even two bit in tommy those are just bonuses you know what i'm saying they better hope and pray that tommy ain't a part of any of this they better hope and pray that two bit ain't a part of any of this when it comes to taking them down because we know two bit he's all about his money and if Tariq makes a deal with him that's going to be bad news for the Tejada family, in my opinion. But to be honest, I mean, with him and Brayden, they're very smart. They're going to come up with a brilliant game plan as far as, you know, making some moves on them. And I believe all he really has to do is put that battery in Kane's back. Y'all know how Kane be reacting to everything. And if, you know, information about what really happened about Drew and Diana setting all this up gets out, 
and Tariq is able to get that information to Kane. Y'all know Kane gonna flip out. Monet, she's gonna flip out. Tariq can do this without actually having to pull the trigger himself. He can get them to do all of his dirty work for him. You know what I'm saying? And depending on his, you know, approach, it can be easy or it could be hard. It just depends on how he goes out with this whole game plan. And as I told y'all, Kane is the weakness. All you got to do is get this guy to react to any type of information. And once that happens, the whole thing can go downhill from there. But I believe Kane will not be the person he's going to worry about the most. Yes, he's very predictable. He's loud. He's emotional. But to be honest, I believe he's going to take what Drew and Diana did to him a tad bit more personal. And he's going to want to prove to them that he is not somebody that they want to mess around with. I mean, if you want to come at him, you better finish him off. And seeing how y'all, you know, pretty much just failed at it, that's a huge mistake. So it's definitely going to be some crazy consequences for both of them. I mean, he's going to trip out. Like, really? Like, Diana, you set me up? And I pretty much gave y'all a chance. Remember when they stole from him back in season two, we know Lorenzo sent them up to the school to take that product back. But Tariq kind of played it off like it was not that big of a deal. And he told Drew, don't worry about it. But we know deep down inside, he's not forgot about that at all. And when he figures out that Diana was the one that dropped off that letter, she's the one behind all of this, her and Drew, he gonna flip out, man. As I told y'all, it's really gonna be real personal for him. And I want him to prove that, look, I'm not messing around with you guys. I mean, this is Ghost's son. He has to stop messing around with these guys for real. As Tommy told him, you whether a civilian or you a gangster. So it's time for Tariq to show us that gangster side and stop messing around. Now, you guys, y'all let me know exactly how y'all see this all playing out as far as Tariq versus the Tejada family. He already knows the rules of the game as far as the whole chessboard, you know, what character is what and how he can make a move against them, their weaknesses, their strengths. And, you know, he's proved this time and time again. Now, will he take Kanan's advice? Will he approach this in a smart way? Will he make it seem like they have won, right? But in reality, he's three steps ahead. So we're going to see what he's all about. I'm expecting Tariq to definitely make some chess moves this season with him and Brayden. And of course, we ain't forgot about your girl Effie. She's the wild card behind all of this, right? And she needs to be stopped as well. We're going to talk more about Effie's character very, very soon. I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions, everything down below. Let me know exactly how you think this is all going to play out with Tariq in the Tejada family. As I told you guys, the Tejadas, they will be their own weakness. And since that may happen, Tariq should be able to take advantage of that and use it, you know, for his own good. But we shall see. But we will continue to talk about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 very, very soon. I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.